Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about RSA. RSA is an algorithm that is used by modern computers to encrypt and decrypt messages. Modern encryption is mostly based on this algorithm. Modern cryptography is divided into two main parts. The ones that use the same key, that is called symmetric key, and you can see in at the top of the picture that Bob is try is trying to to encrypt a message a message and Bob and Alice have the same the same key and that's why it is called symmetric key. The process the process of encryption is to transfer the message to another that uh, anyone uh, could not recognize what you are doing, uh, saying. Um, public key is the modern one and it appears a few years ago and it consists on two different keys. Bob Analyst ha has a it's one has a public key and the other one has a private key. One key e, e, could be served to everyone and it is used to encrypt the message. And the private key that, man, that is maintained in secret is used to decrypt the message. RSA use the more modern one the public key method. RSA algorithm is based in in five different operations that you can see below. First you have to choose two different large random prime numbers that we will call this P and Q. Then we calculate N that is going to be a P by P, P by Q. Then we calculate the the totem that is a is a the Euler's totem function. You can search in Wikipedia for more information because this is a little bit complex. But to calculate the totem of two primes, you have to multiply P minus one by Q minus one. Then you sel select an integer e such that it is between 1 and the totem function and e must be co-prime with the totem. Then we compute d such d by e is congruent with 1 in, in mod the totem. You may be a, a little bit lost because this this is the more complex step. D is going to be the the secret key. Once we have obtained the difference variables, you you have to keep in mind that P, Q, the totem, and D are going to be private. You don't, you must not serve to anyone. And N and E are going to be public. You have to serve because we are, we've gone to we are going to see later how how are they are used. Now we have to encrypt our message. Uh, our message encrypt uh, would be a letter C and it would be M to the power of E mod M and then to decrypt our message and turn it back to, to its first state we, we, we must do C to the power of D mod m and that's all 
I've made an RSA implementation in C++ and I've published the code in GitHub and you can click in the in this link to to download the code is here and you can you can download the code and see it by your own it is here now let's take a look to the code first we create a we instantiate the class that is. then we call to RS RSI that is going to encrypt our message the first thing that it do it does is it creates our our key as as we s as I said before first we have P then we have to calculate Q that is they are all primes we multiply P by Q then we calculate phi that is the euler stoutian function now we we can calculate the public key that is uh, that to choose a random a random number between 1 and phi and it must be coprime and the last thing that we are doing here is calculate the decryption key that is a little bit complex because it uses a recursive function to calculate the greatest common divisor di 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 and once we have done that we can encrypt our message that that is done with this function we use our public key our mod then once we have encrypted our message then we uh, the, the encrypt the message and printing on the screen the, the output the decryption function is this that the only thing that it does is uh, it, uh, it is a power so it's it is really simple and it's great to see that modern modern encryption programs use mostly RSA in future videos we'll, we're going to see the elliptic curve implementation that I'm preparing now and that's the most modern uh, cryptography system that we that we have now and the most powerful one so I hope you like this video and see you in the next